Oh, welcome back my gardening friends. Well I'm just checking uh, my plot uh, for any uh, damage and uh, my next door neighbour opposite plot holders uh, sheds fallen over again and in the middle of the screen you can see somebody's greenhouse that's uh, got a net on uh, that's uh, took a tumble and uh, well, let's have a little look round see how things are not sure whether my friends took the glass out or the winds helped it we'll have a look shortly but other than that we've had a hell of a lot of rain today saturday that's the friday saturday after the friday that uh, uh, eunice uh, came and went and here in the midlands or where i live the weather the F dudley was more destructive by the looks of it let's go and have a look see how the greenhouse fared and other than uh, a little bit of uh, flying debris or rolled about uh, not too bad at all it's uh, pretty much uh, how uh, we left it uh, just uh, lost a little bit of cardboard it's just unhooked itself i'll do that now that's all hooked up again now nice and secure well <laughs> it wasn't overly secure because it come undone but uh, no damage done there's no broken glass on the uh, plot holder next door so it looks like he got most of the glass out which was uh, good to see good to see let's get over to uh, plot three I see the netting's uh, come undone but uh, it hasn't hurt nothing other than uh, <laughs> flattening the uh, compost down a bit and uh, I do need to get all these strings back up but they're still okay that's the uh, the claret sprout in uh, broccoli and uh, no issues with the parsnip box that bit of water did help out and as I say it's only just stopped uh, raining and uh, the water's uh, flowing there as I say it has been really really heavy with rain and uh, everywhere's uh, sodden just noticed this don't know who, <laughs> what this is or where it's come from but uh, it's part of uh, something and next door's uh, greenhouse is uh, looks intact uh, you've always got that worry of uh, flying glass etc that's why i haven't been to the allotment since i recorded my previous video uh, stay well clear don't do nothing don't be silly and uh, everything has survived so we'll move on to this package from steve digwell greenfingers the single seed potato challenge now this challenge is about a single seed potato challenge and this year steve has sent the potatoes out so we can't do it ourselves we can't cheat everyone has the same chance so let's have a little look so I'll get this opened and we'll uh, see what Steve has sent us. So there we have it. Um, all wrapped up. Uh, he did show us actually selecting the potatoes. He was trying to check for eyes. This was from uh, a massive amount of uh, packaging that he had uh, when he had the delivery so he's uh, recycled that I shall recycle it as well and uh, that'll get my uh, rocket stove going so we're unsure of the variety he hasn't really told us uh, there's the uh, the bum and uh, there's uh, some of the chits that have already started so what I'm going to do now uh, in this video for the uh, start of it now you can't use your, your own potatoes i've already said that and uh, i'm not sure whether steve uh, is taking any more entrance but uh, there's no harm in popping to uh, see his videos and the, the playlists on the single seed potato challenge 2022 so i'm going to uh, have a little look at this and uh, we'll see what we can get this is no no chits there Got one there. We've got one there. 
We could have one there. Definitely got one there. Definitely got one here. And I can't see anything other than that there. So I'm going to have that. And so we've got basically six pieces. need to let those dry off and seal up and then I'll be uh, putting them on my uh, egg boxes and we'll get those chitting away and then we can pop them up into six different pots and then keep potting them up and see if we can get anywhere near what he got on his uh, reveals uh, last year so good luck to everyone that's entered this and hopefully we can all enjoy a good harvest from this challenge well i've just seen that piece of board i don't know where that was and uh, we've got a floater <laughs> but uh, it's well worth making everything safe before these uh, storms come and uh, Unfortunately, uh, three people died here in the UK, two from fallen trees and one from flying debris. And uh, we need to keep ourselves as safe as we can and not travel. When not to tell, when, when, not, when told not to. So I've just got uh, that repair there to do. That was from uh, the, a previous storm before Dudley never even noticed and other than that just got to wait for everything to dry out again happy gardening to you all till next time my friends Tra for now